Hey, it's Abdullah, and the Nokia X20 has finally received its first beta of the Android 12 preview, which should hopefully mean that the device won't be late to receive the actual full update. And as you'd expect from the first beta, it's still pretty buggy. Please don't update your X20 if it's your main daily driver. Don't make the same mistake I've done. Anyways, we can't really build any conclusions on the performance optimization or battery life improvements yet, since this is still an early beta. However, here's what's new and different compared to Android 11. I have the X20 on the left and the X10 on the right. This is running on Android 12 preview, and this is running on Android 11. So let's start with the lock screen. As you can see, the clock is a lot more pronounced on Android 12. And there's also a very clear difference in the design of the notifications where you have the app icon now on the left as opposed to the top and also a more rounded shape for the notifications. Other than that, the emergency call button is also now more pronounced. And generally speaking, there are just newer animations. On the home screen, there's actually a bug on Android 12 where it doesn't show you the quick information like the date and uh, weather anymore, but it is actually still there. And the Google search bar has been moved from the bottom of the screen to the top, which I think is a good improvement. But there's still a lot of space wasted under the icons. Another big change is in the widgets themselves. So let's take a look at the widgets menu on both of these devices. On Android 11, it's big and clear widgets that show you exactly how things look like. On Android 12, things are a bit more organized. So in every application, you can expand and then you'll get the design of the widgets. I personally think this is a better change. There's also a new search functionality there, which is quite cool. Now moving on to the notification bar, which has seen the biggest change. And you'll immediately notice that the quick toggles buttons are now much bigger and in a pill shape design as opposed to circles. And you'll also see that there are only four of them now as opposed to six on Android 11. Now, once you expand the quick toggles, you can actually access eight versus only six on Android 11. And the brightness slider also has a different, much more prominent design. And there's also a cute animation change as well, where the sun design is actually complete when you're closer to maximum brightness. And as you go lower, it becomes half and then it actually becomes empty from the inside. And the buttons to edit the quick toggles are also more prominent. And also accessing the settings is also easier. This is how it looks like when it's fully expanded and you can edit and move things around. As for the rest of the notifications, you'll notice a more rounded design, generally speaking, on Android 12. I believe it's a lot cleaner this way and a lot easier to read. So I think it's quite a good improvement. And the same for the history and the clear all buttons, which are also a lot more prominent now. Now on the X20, we get this new mint green color for all the toggles. And I don't know if this is gonna be the new standard or we're gonna get Material U where we can fully customize the color of these. But this is in contrast to Android 11, which gave us blue outlines. And notice the new animations in the app drawer. So you can see like a stretching animation once you reach the edge of the list. So the animations have been cleaned up a bit and look a bit more modern. There's also a more prominent search bar at the top, and it also follows the color theme of the rest of the phone. Another change is in the multitasking view. So when you swipe up, you'll immediately notice that there is a different animation. But also the screenshot option has been removed on Android 12, so it's no longer there. Now let's have a look at the settings. You'll immediately notice that at the top, there is a more prominent label now, and it looks a bit close to One UI on Samsung devices. And the icons and the text is also a lot bigger. I believe this is better for one-handed usage. However, some people might not be happy with the amount of wasted space that this introduces. As for the settings themselves, notifications get their own settings now, as opposed to being with the apps. And wallpaper settings are also now separate from the display settings. And there's a different design when you access any of these. So let's have a look. So as you can see, this looks a lot more consistent and a lot more modern. Once again, big labels on the top, bigger fonts all over the place. I've also noticed that when you access the display settings, 
The option to adjust white balance is gone from Android 12. I don't know if this is gonna be added later on, but I'd like to have this option. But there's also a new option now called colors. So you can adjust from natural to boosted to adaptive based on your usage, which wasn't available on Android 11 on the X10 and the X20. Sadly though, dark theme is still dark gray as opposed to being fully black, which is very stupid, honestly speaking. There are new settings in privacy. So you now have a privacy dashboard, which is completely new. It shows you all the apps that recently got permissions. A nice touch for privacy, but uh, it's Google at the end of the day. <laughs> the wallpaper settings are very basic. And sadly, there's still no theming options available. And I don't know if Nokia devices will get the new Material U, but they really, really should. Unfortunately, we won't find out until later as any of these options are currently not available on the X20's developer preview. And the final option is in the power off button. So when you long press, this is how it looks like on Android 11. As for Android 12, a lot easier to access. And Google Pay has been moved to its own section now. So did the smart home controls. So they're no longer accessible from the power button. I think this is a welcome change as having all the buttons at the very top was very inconvenient. And look at this bug where the Google search bar has been removed now and replaced with the quick glance settings. I'm not really complaining as uh, you guys already know, I really dislike having this Google search bar on my home screen. Sadly, this is a bug. Anyways, to conclude, there's still no trace of Material U, and I really hope Nokia devices actually get it, since they're using a very stock implementation of Android 12, and Material U gives it a nice flavor that I think is desperately needed for Android 1. Of course, none of the apps currently, including Google's own apps, still match the new UI, so things will be a bit janky at the beginning until all of the apps adapt to this new UI. I think the UI changes are actually for the better, helping Android look a bit more modern and also become a bit easier to use with one hand. I'm still really annoyed with dark mode not being fully black. It's honestly stupid. And generally speaking, I don't want to pass any final judgments, but the software is quite buggy on the X20 right now. The animations are quite janky. Uh, the device doesn't feel as smooth as it used to be. But as I said, this is still an early beta, so no judgments whatsoever. Hopefully they improve the optimization a lot for the final version. Google has also promised some under the hood changes, so devices should be able to run Android more smoothly. It should also use less resources. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that actually affects the X20. If you're enjoying my content and want to support me, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. That's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one.